Hey guys, Philip here. In this video I would like to show you what you are going to work on in this course. This course is still in development, but there is already around 70 lectures, which is uh, 8 hours of the content, and I am adding around 8 lectures per day, and there is expected to be more than or around 20 hours of the lectures. Okay, so in this course we are going to create two games. First game, as you can see, will be Flappy Bird clone game, and the other one will be platformer type of the game. So first I will show you a Flappy Bird. Okay, so you will have a menu where you can check the score of the player, current best score is a zero, then you can play the game or you can exit the game. When you will decide to play the game, you will get inside of a game, and you have here Flappy Bird. Okay, so you have a bird, you are flying over the pipes, and as you are progressing through the game, you are increasing the difficulty, and when you will crash into the pipe, you will, you will go from the, from the start. Okay, so you will see, when I will be progressing, I will go into difficulty, I have set purposely very hard, so you can see this pipe here, it's almost impossible to get there. Okay, and then there will be functionalities, for example, like a pause button, where we can continue in a game, we'll have your timer, alright, and then we can also exit the game. Okay, I didn't show you exit, but give me a second. I will stop it, exit, and we'll go back to a menu and we'll play here. We'll start from uh, from the scratch. So this game will be just an entry game. On this game, you will learn the basics of the phaser framework, how to create a basic game. All right, so uh, now let's take a look on the second, day, second game, which will be much, much more complicated. All right, let me shut down this game and I will show you the other game. NPM run dev, all right. And by the way, in these games, uh, after they will be finished, you will learn how to publish these games on the Facebook. So in a Facebook instant game, so you can play it with your, with your friends, you can share it to your friends, or maybe you can publish it and you can uh, earn some money from the game if it's popular. Alright, this is the second type of the game. There is also music. I will I will play it, okay? It's a little bit maybe annoying, so I will play the music. So I will show you how you can add also music to the game. Okay, I will, I will mute it a little bit. Alright, and when you will play this game here is you will choose the map. You can start with, I will choose the map one. And as you can see, we have here our player. There is also health of the player. We can move to the left to the right. We can jump here. We can go down. We can, we can uh, shoot the projectiles, and we have an attack on the melee. Uh, then there are collectibles we can collect, okay, so you can see. There should be also effect when we are collecting it, but I mute my sound, unfortunately. Okay, so you can jump here, okay, and I died, okay. When I died, I will go to the starting point of the game, and again, I will, the game is restarted, and I'm collecting the points. When I will get hit, we'll see what happens, all right. So I will get hit, and uh, I will jump away, and my health is lost, I, I set up these traps very unfortunately, so when I will jump on the trap, I'm going to the next trap. That's not very good, of course. Okay, so you can shoot the projectiles. The players, uh, they are moving from the one platform end into the another. All right, and then I will introduce you a concept called ray casting. So each, each enemy is casting the ray in which detecting the floor or ground. All right. So you can collect the coins. And there is also a level end. When I will cross over this tree, I guess there is the end of the level and I will jump into, into the another level. This is a new level. All right, so maybe I showed you how it looks like from the code perspective. First, I would like to show you, uh, I would like to show you uh, debug mode. Okay, here I somewhere I defined here debug to true, all right. And you will see this ray casting in the real time. Okay, so you can see here the the body structures of the player. Here is the boundaries of the body of the player, the boundaries of the actual enemies. They are set like this. Okay, there will be actually this is a prototype of the game. We'll be working on the slightly clean up version. But that's the the basic version of of, uh, of the game. And you can see the ray, ray cast, each uh, enemy is casting this ray cast, this purple path and in which it's detected, it, as soon as it will detect that there is no platform, it will turn away and it will move to the other side. Also, the health bar that I told you, there is also uh, this crystal collecting, so we can collect these crystals. 
All right, and uh, other thing, we'll be creating this map in a tiled application. We will we will have a multiple will have a multiple layers. In each layer, will be defined a different thing. Uh, we'll have a spawn points for our enemies. We will have a start zone for the player. We have a multiple traps. We will have a collectibles, different environments, uh, spawn points. I told you uh, distance. I don't even know what's the distance here. Uh, yeah, there's a distance environment. That's this background here. And, and so on. So this this map you will learn how to make. Also, uh, code perspective here. We will have a lot of code, guys. We will be coding a lot. So we have here some base classes for our enemies, uh, for our sprite effects. So I will show you how to make effects. Then we have a collectibles. This will be these crystals we can collect. And then we have here different components as a health bar, projectiles, and the weapons. Different effects like a sword hit, sword hit two. Entities as their enemies. There's a Birdman enemy and a Snakey. Uh, you can actually see it here. There's a Snakey. Here is a Birdman. Um, then you will have a, of course, player animations of these entities, e different events. Okay, this is just some testing event. I think I was explaining. I forgot to re remove it. All right. Uh, then head uh, head uh, up display. All right, so this will be class that will be providing a display, some display as a, for the crystals here, for example. Uh, different scenes, so we have a multiple scenes, for example, base scene, the level scene where we'll, where we'll display different levels, uh, menu scene, play scene, uh, preload where we'll be loading all the assets to the game, and there is a lots of assets waiting for you guys. Uh, the score, where you will display the sco score of the player, and so on. So that's a really huge game, and I, I think I've already spent here a lot of time of uh, presenting this game, but I would like to show you that it is worth it, <laughs> all right? And one more thing here, I would like to show you this game on a Facebook, is that we can play those on Facebook. So give me a second, I will play it. And of course, I don't want to share my Facebook account, so I will blur some areas, all right? So, all right, so uh, I'm getting locked in. Okay, and you can see here I already added my game uh, into the Facebook Instant Games. It's a game in a development mode, so only me and my testers can uh, play this game. Of course, I don't have a testers, but I add just my, so my random friends to uh, to play this game. So I can click here on a phaser. All right, and it's starting on a Facebook. So this game would be able will be able to be played on the Facebook. As soon as it will be loaded, you will see that a play screen will be presented. And that's simply this game as I showed you in my local environment, but now it's playable on the Facebook. So anyone on the Facebook could play this game. So I will play, I'll choose your map and you can see the exact the same game. There is no difference here. All right, these enemies are really difficult. Okay. Oh, uh, and this version of the game, uh, then my next level is defined um, just for testing purposes much closer. So you can see here different effects uh, when the player is defeated and so on. So yeah, that's our game you'll be working on. All right, so yeah, that's a preview for the game. Uh, of course, yeah, there will be a lot of uh, lessons, a lot of things to learn. And I hope to see you in the course. It's still not finished, as I mentioned, but I'm adding lots of lectures every day. So it's worth to check it out. So guys, I hope to see you in the course. Cheers.